Hello, and welcome to the Demoet series for TIBCO Data Virtualization, or TDV. In this Demoet, we show TDV Manager's capabilities for monitoring and controlling resource-intensive queries, especially runaway queries. Here is our agenda. We begin by defining query control and outlining its importance for our customers. Next, we walk through a very basic demo of query control. Finally, we summarize the contents of this demoette. Let's begin by discussing what query control is and why it is important for our customers. The query control capabilities of TDV enable system administrators to discover, examine, and if necessary, cancel resource-intensive TDV queries. This can be done using the Manager User Interface in TDV Studio or the web-based TDV Management User Interface. It is also possible to write custom queries and procedures to examine running queries. Query control is important to our customers for three reasons. First, it helps system administrators gain a deeper understanding of resource usage in TDV. Second, it enables them to identify and cancel rogue queries. Finally, it is part of an overall approach to ensuring the best possible service levels for users. Next, let's walk through a very basic demo of query control. Here is the business problem we illustrate in this demo. Our user community runs many different types of queries each day against TDV virtual resources. TDV administrators want to ensure that rogue queries with excessive resource consumption do not impact service levels for other users. Please note that this demo does not provide a comprehensive overview of TDV management capabilities. TDV Manager is a product of great breadth and depth. It oversees server configuration, user and group management, resource management, license management, and other areas of TDV. In this demoet, we concentrate on control of queries because this is an important issue that prospective new customers often want to investigate. This demo uses a stored procedure that executes an infinite loop, simulating a runaway query. It also uses a custom view of running queries. Before you begin the demo, import the CAR file containing these resources, which can be found in the Additional Resources folder that accompanies this demoette. We are ready to begin our demo. Here is the stored procedure we will use to simulate a rogue query. It contains an endless loop that opens and closes a cursor for a virtual view that is delivered with TDV as part of the Examples folder in TDV Studio. Each opening and closing of the cursor will complete successfully as a child process in a short time, but the overall procedure will run until it is canceled. We begin our demo by executing the procedure. Now we'll open the Manager User Interface that is part of TDV Studio. To do this, click the Manager button highlighted here. When the Manager opens, click Requests. Note that by default, the Manager screens will refresh every 10 seconds. You can change this default with the drop-down or refresh whenever you want by clicking the green arrow. Here is the Requests screen. We click the column heading to sort by end time. This brings the currently running requests to the top. Note that the first request, Anonymous Process, has been running for over six minutes. The ID of this request is 221189, and it is a top-level request because it has no parent. We see the select statement in the procedure below it, and we see that it is a child of request 221189. We also see that this request has spawned a child, which in this case happens to be a transformation resource that is needed to create the federated view. These children will run and complete repeatedly if we keep watching the screen, because we are continually opening and closing the cursor. However, the parent request will continue to run unless we kill it, 
because of the endless loop we built in the procedure. Select the parent request and click Cancel. The procedure will be halted. We can also manage requests through TDV's web-based manager interface. This can be very convenient for system administrators because they can use it without installing Studio. We can also launch the web manager through Studio's administration menu. Again, we choose Requests. Note that the default refresh period is 30 seconds on the web manager. On the Requests page, click Sort in order to sort the requests by end time. Select the long-running procedure and click the Cancel button to kill it. It is also possible to build highly customized queries and procedures to check for rogue transactions in specific ways. TDV is delivered with a virtual system database of metadata. As you can see, there are a number of tables that describe all the metadata stored by TDV. We select the Sys Requests table, which shows us the raw data that was used by both the Studio and Web Manager interfaces. We can create views and procedures using the system database, just as we would with any other data available to TDV. Authorized users can then access these custom resources from any SQL client. Here we create a custom view by dragging the Sys Requests table onto a view palette. We customize the view by selecting a subset of columns and by adding custom criteria. We want to select rows where end time is null, which means the request is currently running. In addition, we only want rows for requests that have been running for more than 120,000 milliseconds, or two minutes. When we execute this view, the rogue procedure appears. This helps us pinpoint potential problem queries in ways that are highly specific to the needs of our enterprise. Our demo is complete. Let's summarize what we have seen in this presentation. The query control capabilities of TDV's manager enable system administrators to discover, examine, and if necessary, cancel resource-intensive TDV queries. This can be done using the manager user interface in TDV Studio or the web-based TDV management user interface. It is also possible to write custom queries and procedures to examine running queries. Query control is important to our customers for three reasons. First, it helps system administrators gain a deeper understanding of resource usage in TDV. Second, it enables them to identify and cancel rogue queries. Finally, it is part of an overall approach to ensuring the best possible service levels for users. Thank you.